guys. Just wanted to show you a home built project, uh, do it yourself. I've seen the paint can EVAP smokers on eBay. I've seen the um, ones that use the uh, use the um, paint spray gun. But this is my home built project. I named it the P04XX EVAP Code Buster. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you that today. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the back of the unit. And you're gonna see we have an input and we have a valve here we have a control and we have a filter and drain on the side here we have our inlet and there are our battery cables now coming around to the front of the unit what we're going to look at is we're going to look at the main control your canister air gauge which is 40 pounds max your uh, gauge for boost and for uh, inches of mercury and also a switch for smoke or vacuum and if you look on the front here we got a flow meter and lo and behold versatile connector now what's different about this unit is not only does it do smoke under one psi but it can also do vacuum it could also evac so I'm going to show you some of the procedures that uh, it uses today and we'll go ahead and we'll get started right now. First thing we're going to do is we're going to hook it up to our car battery. Now of course we don't have the car here but we have the battery. So we're going to go ahead and first connect the positive and then we're going to go ahead and connect the negative. Now once that happens, lo and behold, we get a green light indicating we have power. Now, so far, nothing is operating on this unit. We just have power. And this light, you could change. Now, this is just an indicator to tell you what's going on. Green means it's powered up. When you want to smoke or vacuum, you could put it in blue to let you know it's in vacuum mode. So if you're looking across the room, you could see that. And if you want to do pressure, you could put it in red. And that's telling you that you're pressurizing the system. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring it back to green. And I'm going to leave it at green for now. And we're going to connect the pressure. We're going to bring it up to pressure. And then I'm going to show you how it works. So I'm going to hand this off to my assistant here. And we're going to connect the pressurization. So as you can see, the air hose goes in the back. We're just going to go ahead and click it in place. And that is in. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to add pressure to the hose. So I'm going to go over to my air compressor, turn on the pressure, and apply pressure into the system. Now right now nothing's happening because we haven't brought up any of the pressures. So if you look on the back here again, we're at zero PSI. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the gauge, we're going to start giving it some pressure. Now this gauge you can go as far as you want. I'm just going to bring it right about there. And that's looking at right around oh, oh, 45, 50 pounds. My camera's not that great. We're going to lock it down at 50 pounds. Now we're going to come around the front. And we're going to see that we have no pressure in the can yet. 40 pounds max. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pressurize the can up to 40 psi and that's right about there we're going to lock it and that locks it into place at 40 psi now what's nice about this unit is very versatile you could use standardized connectors for an air hose and you can go ahead and you could make different connectors for cheap so this one here if you look it's connected to a gas cap I'm going to pull that off for now and just show you this connector. This allows you to slip different pipes on for different pressurizations. Here's another one that I made that uses standard 39 cent hose fitting at uh, Harbor Freight and this was about two bucks to one eighth and one eighth over into three eighths for larger lines like gas lines. So what you do basically we're going to use the straight connector to make it easier to see we go ahead and we're going to click that into place. I'm going to hand it over to my assistant again so she could show you. Once it's clicked into place, the system is ready to operate. 
Now, before I release the pressure on the system, I'm going to go ahead and heat her up. I'm going to put it into smoke mode. You'll hear the relays clicking. There is a high voltage relay in there for the high amperage that's used for the glow plug. And we'll give it about two minutes or so for it to heat. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, close this valve up. This is your flow valve. This is going to tell you how much your system is leaking. There's a certain amount that will set a CEL light on a car. So that gauge will help us determine if the system is losing pressure or if it's pressurizing and holding. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this connector in now. And we have the connector clicked in. And now we could start applying some pressure into the system. So you might hear this with the coming out of the hose. You can see the smoke already starting to come out. And if we look down here, we can see the gauge is already showing 3 liters of airflow per minute. We can cut that down if we wish. Let's say 2 liters of airflow per minute. And right now you can just about see smoke coming out of the system. As I increase it, the smoke will increase in the system. Now it doesn't look like a lot of smoke, but believe it or not, there's a lot coming out of here. You can actually see it coming up and smoking. I'm going to show you a little test. So I'm going to have her hold the camera. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of pipe, just a piece of exhaust pipe, and we're going to go ahead and put the exhaust pipe with my hand over the top, and I'm going to just cap it. Now as I do that, and the pressure builds, the flow meter is dropping to zero because the pressure in the system is building up and it's not being released. But however, when I release my hand, you'll see that the system is smoking. And that's going to detect the leak. The flow meter will tell you how much. Now, as I put my finger over the flow meter, you'll see it go up and down at, with the leak. That's one liter per minute if I get it right. Very difficult to get a liter per minute. It's a very small leak. And when you let it up, you still get your smoke. Now you can go ahead and cut back on the pressure here. If you want to smoke it slower, to the point where you could smoke it only a tiny, tiny bit, or you could smoke it at the full amount. Now, notice the amount of smoke this thing blows. It's pretty heavy. All right, we're gonna go ahead and shut the unit off now, and we're gonna disconnect this fitting. And right now that's cooling down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kick it into vacuum mode. Now, in order to kick it into vacuum mode, there's a switch up here that says vac. You just click it into vacuum mode. Now what that just did was it locked out the pressure coming from the smoker. And it purely gave it vacuum. Now back here you go ahead and turn the vacuum port on, which is right here, the nozzle. And you can watch the gauge come up to tour. And here we go. Pulling right around 20 inches of mercury. Now, if you connect in your hose for evacuation, you could either put a vacuum on the system or click on this hose. And lo and behold, what we have is we have a air conditioning unit for vacuum. Now, if you see me put my finger over the hole, brings it up to tour, release it. And if I leave my finger there, it'll go past 20 with a higher amount of pressure. So that'll do an air conditioning system. This will screw right into the air conditioning system. And there's also a hold feature. When you turn it off, I haven't put the solenoid in. And you can see it slowly drops to zero. Turn it back on. And vacuum comes fast. And to stop the vacuum, you just close the port and you're back to zero and the system is now off and that's it pretty much uh, I'm adding two more features to it I'm gonna add a feature for the uh, vacuum hold and also vacuum purge so I hope you like my build and uh, have a good day guys bye